So first of all, I have some random data here and I have put this into a pivot table and I want to group the columns in this pivot table. I want to group A, B, C and D together and then I want to group 1, 2, 3 and 4 together. However, if I select these and go to Analyze and Group Selection, it is greyed out. Now, there's a few different ways around this. If I go back to the original table and I press Control A to select everything and then Control C to copy and then I paste and transpose, I can now use this table to create a pivot table because it is the other way around. And now if I put date into rows, this is now the numbers and the letters. And then I can put the dates into the values like this. Now, if I select these, I can group them. And I can call these numbers. However, if I had a lot of data in here, this would be very time consuming. So if I go back to this sheet, the simplest thing I could do is just to create another column on the side of the pivot table. And I could call this letters. However, this doesn't look very nice. So I can also create a column inside the pivot table by going to analyze and selecting this and then selecting calculated field. And then I will change this to be letters and then I will double click on this and then add and then double click B and then C and then D and then select add and OK. And I now have a column called sum of letters. Now I can do this again and type in numbers and then sum and open brackets and one and then a comma and two and three and four and close brackets and then add and OK. And I now have a column called sum of numbers. Now, if I go back to the original table, I can use this table to make the old version of the pivot table by using the keyboard shortcut Alt D P. Then I will select multiple consolidation ranges and then next and then I will create the page fields and then next. Then I will select my table and then next and finish. And I now have pivot table and I can group the columns and I can call this numbers. Now I can also remove all of these and then double click on this value and this will create a table for me with the dates in the first column and the letters and the numbers in the second column and the values in the third column. And this is the way I need the data to be laid out in order to be able to group the columns in a pivot table. So if I select summarize with pivot table and OK, I can put rows back and columns and values and I can group the selection again. Now, if I go back to the original table and I select control A and then control T to make this into a proper table, I can then go to data and from table and I can make a query. I can then select all of these columns and go to transform and unpivot columns, unpivot only selected columns. And now I have a table laid out the same way as before with the date and then the letters and the numbers and then the values. And if I go to home, close and load, then I can select summarize with pivot table again. And then I can put the date in the rows and the attributes in the columns and the values in the values. 
and then I can group the selections again and I can call this numbers. Then I can select these and group them and then call this letters. Okay, and that is it.